Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna deal with a rodent problem here in my own dining room. Recently, the weather got cold and rodents are moving indoors looking for a warm place for the winter. When I was turning off the lights to go to bed the other night, I noticed the mouse scurrying across the floor. That is so gross. My daughter is a young baby just learning how to crawl. She's down on the floor and some of the mice we're catching in the barns have parasites. Fleas, ticks, botfly maggots, and they also carry disease like hantavirus. So I have zero tolerance for rodents inside my house. That first night, I set up a couple of live catch traps trying to catch them, but they avoided them. So instead of messing around with a live catch trap, even though these are native deer mice coming in, not the house mice, I'm gonna try a mouse trap that will deal with the problem very quickly. Let me show you what it looks like. So here's a new mouse trap that will hopefully solve my mouse invasion problem. It's called the Ultra Electronic Mouse Trap. I bought it on Amazon for $19.99. And what I like so much about this mouse trap is it's high tech and sophisticated, but also safe around my kids. We'll open up the box to see what it looks like. It's a good looking electronic trap. There's an entryway right here. We'll turn it around a place where they can smell the bait. Here's the backside with some warnings, another place to smell the bait on top here. We have an on off switch. Here's the battery pack and we'll go ahead and pull off the lid. There's two infrared sensors. One where the mouse enters and one in back to trigger the system. And down here, here's the metal pads. When the mouse is touching the two metal pads, it will deliver a lethal shock of 5,000 to 8,000 volts for 30 seconds. That should instantly kill any mouse in there. And then it will turn off and notify us that it has a mouse with a green light. Now this runs on four AA batteries. We'll pull off the lid and put the batteries inside. There we go, already. We'll put the bait in back. The mouse will enter right here, go around the safety door, touch the two metal pads, and when it goes inside, it will cross two infrared sensors that will trigger the electronic shock. Now there are a few safety features here, including metal contacts that won't work unless it's clipped onto the base. Once you have the bait inside, you'll turn on the trap and it's ready to go. Now you can see a green blinking light when it first turns on, but right now both of the lights are off. If we do electrocute a mouse, it will turn green. And if it's low on batteries, it will turn red. The trap's all ready to go. Let's go set it up on the floor in my dining room to get the mice coming through the heater vent. So here's the heater vent that the mice are climbing through. They must have access down below the house to the ducks. They climb through these tiny little slots on the grate, grab some food, and then go back down. So tonight, I'm gonna place our ultra mouse trap right here. I'll put some sunflower seeds in and hopefully we catch them. Now I don't know how many mice we have coming, but I know it's more than one. So maybe it's two, three, or more. We'll know with the motion cameras. Now because we only catch one mouse at a time, I'm gonna check this throughout the night. Anytime I wake up, I'll go out and check it. And if it's flashing green, we'll empty it and try to catch another mouse until we deal with this problem. So tonight we'll set it up and see how long it takes to catch these mice invading my living room.
Well, our trap worked very well. Last night we caught three mice coming through the vent and trying to get those seeds. As soon as they hit the infrared sensor, it turned on, they got electrocuted and died very quickly. And I really liked this green flashing light. When I came out to check it in the dark, I instantly knew if we caught a mouse. Now I didn't want any parasites like fleas, ticks, or the botflies to escape, so I placed them in a plastic bag and then I reset it. One after another, we caught all three mice. Now I didn't see any more on the trail camera, so hopefully we dealt with the problem, but I'm gonna keep it set for a few more nights. But I'm not gonna let the three mice go to waste. So let's go set up the motion cameras and see what enjoys a mouse three course meal. Well, the rat got there first and enjoyed the first mouse, but that giant fat skunk came and ate the other two. That skunk is storing up for the winter and he's pretty chubby. He should be in good shape. Overall, I'm very happy with the Ultra Mouse Trap. It's an electronic mouse trap that instantly kills a mouse with a powerful shock and it's triggered by an infrared sensor. Now, they also make a larger rat version. I haven't tested that out, but it might be a good future video. Now, the biggest downfall with this mouse trap is you only catch one mouse at a time. I did lose sleep checking it throughout the night, but it was way worth it to deal with that mouse problem. Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to all the viewers who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.